Thank you very much for uh, giving me this opportunity. I think the the food se you know, security situation is more or less uh, similar to that of Kenya and uh, to that of you know, Uganda. But uh, we did our uh, land revolution three decades ago, where we totally abandoned feudal land tenure and enabled, you know, our small farmers to be owners of their own land. Today, women are registered with her, the, their uh, husbands as joint owners of land. The husband, no matter what the culture says, has no right whatsoever to really affect, you know, the, the use of the land, including, you know, the fruits of the land as well. So in this sense, I think, you know, we are favorably located in terms of uh, land ownership. Uh, generally speaking, you know, food security uh, is a problem in our country because of uh, several factors, you know. Climate is one, and we are grappling with it. You know, uh, two or three decades back, Ethiopia was uh, really uh, demonstrated as the most, you know, famine-stricken country. That famine, we evaluated as man-made rather than naturally induced. The current government is extremely uh, articulate about what should be done by the government and also civil society organizations. So situations are uh, tremendously improving, both in terms of uh, really boosting production and at the same time also bringing about some sort of equitable distribution among the population. We have, uh, broadly speaking, we talk about three Ethiopia. Poor Ethiopia, where areas that are chronically affected by food security, food insecurity. There, then we have the rich Ethiopia, which is naturally in doubt, but due to backward technological innovation, is not in a position to produce more. And then we have uh, the pastoralists. For the chronically affected areas, there is what we call, uh, you know, protection of safety networks, where those uh, <coughs> able bodies are required to do on infrastructures and obtain, you know, earn cash income to really improve you know, their livelihood. Those who are, you know, unable to really, uh, you know, go to, into site works are given, you know, direct food assistance. This is what we call the safety network approach. The second approach is, of course, you know, in the poor, in the rich Ethiopia, we have a number of uh, activities that are being taken, basically introducing farmers to a better technological improvements. It's here that many NGOs are also participating in terms of providing the necessary advices uh, to farmers. Even, you know, at the, at the village level, we have <coughs> government, uh, extension agents for agronomic practices, for environment, for livestock, and the most important thing is we have over 30, 20,000, you know, young educated women who are uh, acting as uh, health extension workers who advise, you know, families on the utilization of food. In terms of uh, uh, the other thing is, of course, we have also been engaged in land re resettlement. There are areas that is really lost, you know, because of uh, environmental degradation, because of a uh, rainfall regime that is uh, unreliable. So we have to resettle these people within an area. This this area, people of this area, will only be settled in in the similar, you know, region that is uh, culturally endowed. I think, you know,